is. Okay, let's move on to something else. Reduplicated verbs, reduplicated adjectives, and reduplicated measures. Let's first look at the first two, reduplicated verbs. 中午到我家来坐坐,喝喝茶,怎么样? When a verb is reduplicated, it gives a softer, friendlier, more casual tone of voice. Do it a little. Do it for a while. Now note, if it's just a single syllable verb, like 做, it's simply doubled. 做做. But if it's a verb object, like 喝茶, the verb is doubled, but the noun isn't. So, 中午到我家来,做做. 喝喝茶,怎么样? If it's a single syllable verb, it's simply doubled. If it's a verb object, the verb is doubled, but the object isn't. But if it's a double syllable verb, like 介绍, it goes from what we say, AB to ABAB. Okay? The double syllable verb is said twice. Okay? Now, if we look at the next pair, reduplicated adjectives, uh, if when an adjective is reduplicated, it adds a degree of emphasis or a degree of vividness. Uh, adds a bit of vividness to it. Now, when it's a double syllable adjective, it's different from the verb. The verb is simply repeated, 介绍, 介绍. But when it's a double syllable adjective, it goes not A, B, A, B, but A, A, B, B. What Jing ching, ching, chu, chu, de gao su le ni, ni zhe ma hai bu dong. Okay? The double syllable adjective used for emphasis goes A, A, B, B. Ching, ching, chu, chu, de gao su. Now, finally, with reduplicated measures, uh, here, the reduplicated measure plus do means each one, everyone. 我妻子炒的菜,样样都好吃. Each dish my wife cooks are really delicious. 样样都好吃. The measure can be reduplicated. But where it's a number measure and then possibly the noun plus D, it means one at a time, one by one. 我的房租是一个月一个月付的. My rent is paid by the month, one month at a time. Okay? So this is what happens when verbs, adjectives and measures are reduplicated. Now let's look at the difference between idian and yo idian. Note these two sentences: Jin tian lang idian and Jin tian yo idian lang. What's the difference? Well, let's look at another clip. I think this is it. Good. When Westerners want to say today is a little cold, they often say Jin Tian Idian Le. No, it should be Jin Tian Yo Idian Le. Today is a little cold. But note that when we want to say today is colder than say yesterday, we say Jin Tian. Yesterday was quite warm, but today is colder. Okay, let's get ready for the, think the final one. Yes, let's go back to the PowerPoint. Let's think a bit more about this because students often get this wrong. Okay? What we need to notice is that when we say 今天冷一点, 
what we're saying is compared with the norm, today is a little cold. Okay? We're comparing it with the norm. Chi ni zo quiet him. Please walk a little faster. We're in a hurry. But when it's jin tian you idian lung, there is no comparison implied. Simply making a statement, oh, today is rather cold. Okay? So the first one, there's a comparison. Jin tian lung idian. Yesterday was nice and warm. Jin tian lung idian. It's a little cooler today compared with yesterday. But with the second one, jin tian yu idian lung, no comparison is implied. Wo xian zai yu idian lei. I'm a little tired. I'm not comparing myself to yesterday or any time. I'm simply making a statement. Uh, and practicing, well, I think just show them the grammar clip. But you find students will often say, oh, wo jin tian lei idian, instead of yu idian lei. Mm -hmm. Now, be delighted to know we're getting fairly near the end, but let's look at this now. Tai, zai, jiu. This is difficult for students to understand the difference, so let's look at this grammar clip. That was the last one. So let's just look at this in more detail. Tai Zai Jiu Tai, as we said, a condition that must be fulfilled. And so parents are often using it with their children. Only when you finish one thing, not until you've finished it, can you go and do something else. Where Zai is the person who likes an ordered life. I first, each day, I first do this and then I do that. And then Jiu is the person who's often rushing from one thing to another. The person with a busy schedule. As soon as I finish this, I then go on to that. Uh, actually, while we're talking about Jiu, uh, uh, here we are, here are the three sentences. Condition, order of events immediacy. 
But while we talk about Zhou, uh, let's just look at its different meanings in Chinese quickly. Zhou uh, often just simply implies a subsequent action. If you're, not, if you're not busy, you can go. Or this one. 妹妹吃了一个苹果,就饱了。Younger sister was full after eating only one apple, uh, indicating subsequent action or result. But Joe, as we've said, also means immediately, right away. 我们就要走了, okay? We're just about to leave. Joe can also mean just the very precise. Oh, Joe, so it's you. You're the one who went off with that thing. Okay? Well, Joe, okay? it's Okay? Today's just the very day that I want to go and see her. And then Joe, meaning only. Well, Joe, I only have one dollar. So this is a summary of different uses of Joe. But let's uh, go back to Jiu Zai Cai and look at other contrasts. Jiu can mean faster than expected, where Cai means slower than expected. Okay? Need to hang you share the quiet. Cai share the banyan. Jiu saw the number liu li la. Other people, they need two years to get to the level that you're at, but after just half a year, you're already fluent. Where Cai is slower than expected. Need a Han Yu Shed a Haman. Shed a Liang Yin. Cai Shed Wan a Liang Ben Su. Other people uh, have finished four or five books after uh, this, this same time, two years. You have only finished two books slower than expected. So Zhou means faster than expected. Cai slower than expected. Also, Zhou and Cai, Zhou means earlier than expected, as early as, where Cai means later than expected, not until. Much earlier than planned. Where Cai, later than expected, he came not until he came much later than expected. Another contrast between Zhou and Cai. Zhou often is just simply a statement. Only Wang Ming Dao hasn't come yet. A straightforward statement. But Cai is often falling short of a normal standard or expectation, so often contains an element of surprise. 你才吃了半碗饭, what's wrong with you? Are you ill or something? You only ate half a bowl of rice, falling short of the normal standard or expectation. Another contrast is Cai and Cai. Zai is often used making a suggestion or a request or command. This is my suggestion. But Zai implies a condition that must first be fulfilled. Okay, the condition. You're too young to get married now. The condition must be fulfilled. You must wait for another two or three years. Coming towards the end, just two more things. Firstly, deletion. Chinese is a language of great economy. <laughs> for instance, deletion of subject, where often we say one or it's in English. Xing qi tian, bu kai men, they or we don't open on Sundays. Tai yuan le, it's too far. Okay? Deletion of pronoun when referring to the same person in both clauses. Wen lao shi, you may be, ask the teacher whether she has a pen. Deletion of possessive pronoun when understood from the context. Che zai nali, 
Where is the or where is your car? Deletion of conjunctions. Okay. 我不吃肉. Oh, sorry. 我吃菜,不吃肉. I eat vegetables but not meat. 他不去,我也不去. If he doesn't go, then I'm not going. Okay. Uh, particularly tell your students about this one, deletion of linking verb to be. Often students put 是 in. With prices, no need. 这个东西多少钱? Often students say 这个东西是多少钱? No. 你的小孩几岁? How old is your child? Mm -hmm. Time. 现在几点了? What is the time? 明天几号? What is the date tomorrow? Often students will say 明天是 Jihao. Tell students with these price, age, time, date, there's no need to put the verb to be shi in. Just a few more. Deletion of impersonal pronoun it. Xia yu le, it's raining. Wo xi huan, I like it. So although Chinese has the impersonal pronoun ta, my suggestion is you don't teach it until well into the course, else the student will start saying ta xia yu le, or wo xi huan ta, where Chinese normally deletes the impersonal pronoun ta. Deletion, deletion of unstressed a or the. Ni yo mei o bi, do you have a pen? Shu zai na li, where is the book? And finally, Deletion of unstressed, any in negative sentences and some in positive. Ta meo, he doesn't have any. Ni yao bi yao, do you want some? So it's helpful to go through this with students so that they understand when Chinese delete, delete words that are unnecessary where we need them in English. Finally, strict order. In Chinese, the conditional clause must come before the main clause, where in English we can do it either way. Let's look at these. 如果你不想去,你可以不去. If you don't feel like going, you don't have to go. Or, you don't have to go, you don't feel like going. You see, in English, we can say it either way. Okay? 他到的时候,我们就马上吃饭. When he arrives, we'll eat immediately. Or, we'll eat immediately when he arrives. In English, we can say it either way. But in Chinese, it has to be the conditional clause first. 我穿好衣服以后就去上课. After I put my clothes on, then I'm off to class. Or, I'm off to class after I put my clothes on. 考试以前就先复习. Before the exam, you must review, or you must first review before the exam. As soon as he became ill, he went to the hospital for a checkup, or he went to the hospital for a checkup as soon as he became ill. And finally, because, because he didn't get into the university, so he must go and look for a job, or he must go and look for a job because he didn't get into the university. So with these, if, when, after, before, as soon as, because, in Chinese, the conditional clause must come first, not like in English, where it's optional. And finally, we won't spend time on this, but it's helpful to look up uh, at this list of adverbs joining up two clauses so students can see these patterns and when they are used. So it's been a long lecture, but I hope you found it helpful.